Hey guys, I'm in Brooklyn hanging out with Chris Nolte from Propel Bikes. How's it going, man? Doing well. I'm having a great time. You know, we've we've done a number of videos today, reviewed some bikes, but this wall of accessories gets me excited. There's stuff on here that, you know, it, it didn't even cross my mind. Like a lot of these e-bikes, they won't come with mirrors, for example. And I feel like I don't know how to use a mirror. I don't know how to choose a mirror. And you know, you're you've got a bunch, and you could give us a guide. Sure, absolutely, yeah. Um, so some parts of the world, like Germany, it's actually required to have a mirror, specifically mm. on speed bikes, and they make mirrors specifically for these fast electric bikes. Mm. So we've kind of been exploring this and working with different companies and bringing some different mirrors in, and uh, we have some different ones that we can show you. Uh, so this mirror is is made by Bush and Muir. This is the 701 mirror. And this is one of the more popular mirrors for fast e-bikes specifically. Hmm. And they have a special certification in Germany for fast e-bikes. And basically this mirror, it has this adjustability here, but it also has this ability that when you put the mirror in the end of the handlebar, so say this is the end of the handlebar, yeah. It has the ability to fold in. Whoa, like which cars. Which is really nice, so. It, it, does it spring back or is this it, like a? Yeah, it huh. springs right back into so place. So it's like, yeah, you can, okay, it reminds me of automobiles when, you know. That's you can, right, yeah, it's based on the same concept because the challenge is that a mirror, if it's sticking out, you know, if you were to hit something, it could be potentially dangerous. Yeah. But if you're riding through traffic and you accidentally swipe something, at least the mirror is gonna move in and not, you know, cause you to crash or something like that because it makes you unstable. Will this fit on most handlebars? Or is there a different diameter for different bars or what? They mostly so, the same? Yeah, for the most part, most handlebars, I think it's about 25.4 is the inner, mm, cap. Uh, yeah, for for the, that tubing. So huh, this but, works for pretty much, you know, pretty much like, all sides. Right here, you just pull out the plastic piece and, and I guess it would go, probably in America, it would go on the, on the left side. That's right. Because of how we ride, depending on what country you're in, it, it could maybe go on the other side. Yeah, um, and some of the mirrors are uh, made for one side specifically. Some mirrors are ones for the left, ones for the right. Some they only make for the left side. So this is something to be mindful of when you're selecting different mirrors. Sh show me how this would actually look, uh, maybe using one of these bars, because you know I've noticed a couple times when I was reviewing bikes that like if we could put a pretend so, on this one. So it would go just like this. So inside. this is in the up position. And I've seen some other people say they put the mirror down here. Like when, how do you decide? Right, so you can take, there's different mirrors like these, for example, which clamp onto the tubing of the handlebar. So there's all sorts of different ways you can mount it. You can mount it this way. Hmm. Um, alternatively, you can actually move the mirror on the inside, so you still have the hmm. functionality. But sometimes when it's on the inside, sometimes your body can actually block oh. the visibility. Um, or you can go, you know, up like this, you know, so there's, there's all different, different ways you can do it. Alternatively, you can also go this way. Huh. You know, you might see some like older scooters and that sort of thing that they mount yeah. the, the mirrors in that way. And they usually have two mirrors. Yep. Scooter. So can you do that on a bike too? You could put. You can two certainly. Um, you know, I remember my first car, a 1988 Honda Civic, actually had one mirror and just really? on the left side. So, and I guess <laughs> years ago that was like all that was required, and you know, very basic. So. I, I heard something about the guys at Tesla making their electric cars, and they were, they were trying to work with the government, like, hey, you know, we want to put cameras on there so it'd be even more aerodynamic. You wouldn't have mirrors sticking out the side, but the, but the doorknobs, you know, retract and That's like. Right. Get, yeah. So aerodynamics is something that really matters. We're talking about 28. 28 miles per hour you know there's that's not super fast and frankly bikes ride on the side of the street one of the benefits is these electric bikes you don't have to have a license or insurance if it's a class one right so you know coming back to just one mirror that's probably all you need because you're not riding with traffic that's right that's okay right. let's let's you know talk about the price on this chris how much was this first one this this one's about 40 bucks here um some of them vary i mean some of these are more basic like these these are $19. This might be good for like a folding bike or something like that. It's pretty compact, hmm. but this is not a uh, speed pedelec specific mirror. Whereas, you know, like this one, for example, uh, is actually made specifically for for a speed bike. So, uh, so this has the E approval number, hmm. and these ones. 
although they're made for e-bikes. This one, you see it's made for e-bikes with the 45 ah. kilometers per hour, which actually we should read the English version here. <laughs> yeah, well, and it translates to about 28 miles per hour. That's right. That's the class that's right. three speed pedelec. And here's another one that's in that down position we were talking about. Yeah, so this is a really lightweight one and it's good for road bikes and all different sorts of stuff like that. Huh. Um, or there's, you know, with this, this same sort of flexible mount, we have the uh, just a round mirror, but for whatever reason they decided for the fast e-bike specifically, most of them they want this type of mount um, as opposed to a round one. Either this type, which this is the more this is the newer version from Bush and Muir, hmm. which they do either the the clamp style or it's also available with this uh, kind of fold-in one. Actually, the 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 fold-in style has been super popular for us. We just ran out of them, but we're getting some more in. Okay. As maybe a final comment on the whole mirror setup is I've actually seen helmets. Some people wear a helmet and it has a little, little tiny mirror. Have you ever That's tried right. that? I, I haven't tried it personally. I know that they, they do work well. They look a little bit different. So sure. there's, there's a certain style thing. I think sometimes people are mindful of, but, um, but yeah. I, I remember these sunglasses that used to have like little reflective parts on the side and you could see people walking behind you. Do you remember those? I do. It's like the 80s or something like that. Well, it's been a lot of fun. I appreciate the feedback. The thing about a helmet is sometimes I take mine off and I toss it. And if you've got a mirror on that, it could be a little delicate. Or glasses. Some people have glasses with like a That's little right. yep. mirror. And there's even one now that I think has like a little spring. It's supposed to be shock absorbing. Um, it's maybe something we look into another time, but I appreciate this quick tour of, of the mirrors you have and uh, your thoughts and anything else to add, Chris? No, I think that's it right now. Okay, that's Thank awesome. You. Well, have fun out there, you guys. And as always, ride safe. I'll be putting this in the forums in the accessories section so you can chime in with questions. Chris might be there. You can link to some of the products. Uh, share your own experiences if you have a mirror that you, you like. Um, again, this is purposefully, we're trying to share a bunch of different brands and just have a conversation about safety. So it's good stuff. Thank you.